Okay, hey guys, so it's October 11th and I'm going to my very first retreat, which I'm excited about. I honestly don't feel nervous, but let me tell you, the enemy was trying me last night and has been trying me for the past few days. So it makes sense because we're heading into this beautiful, life-changing next two days weekend, if you will. I'm all packed up. Am I taking too much? Starts at four o'clock tonight, today, this evening, um, and then tomorrow it ends at four. So, but I literally in the bag only have my outfit for tomorrow, a jacket and a vest. So it looks like I'm taking a lot, but in reality I don't. And my books, like my Bible and everything, fit in the bag. But then when I tried adding my vest, it didn't. So I took out the books and just brought my. So, and then I figured, like, take a bag, because right now we're just going to head into the town, because we're going to Lake Geneva. Never been, and I'm excited, and I don't want to be carrying, like, my tote or anything, so just a regular bag. I think it's so, I'm all ready to go. I'm not going to film this, but I am going to film clips for you guys, so I'm going to show you that now, and then you'll see me a couple days later, and I'll tell you how the retreat went, but yeah, so let's get to it. Jesus. I don't always feel this way, I don't always sense this, but I've sensed for a few months 
that the Lord was really going to do something unique and special here in these two days. Like, I, I, I sense that there's going to be like a domino that falls, and just kind of something that, that happens here. I really mean this. I, I really believe, and I don't know exactly what it is, but I really feel, I strong, and I don't feel super strong about everything, but really strongly for months now. I just really look forward to this because I just sense that God is just going to move. What exactly that's going to look like. Oh, yeah. I see. 
just got back from church it's officially sunday but i wanted to give you the update of yesterday which and i guess the past two days which was the retreat and let me tell you if you've never been to retreat go to a retreat it was so amazing i cannot get over the immense feeling and the presence you feel with god during those moments remember obviously god is with you always the holy spirit lives within you but sometimes we're just in our day-to-day -day life that we don't maybe feel god necessarily there but he's always with us even during our hard moments and our trials when you're like god why are, why is this happening to me today the sermon my pastor oh he he did an amazing job he was just like some of you think god is not with you during those moments or that he's punishing you because you sinned before or something like that but in reality he's using those trials to grow you or to open the door for something better and bigger rejoice in your sufferings romans 5 3 so point is it's been a good two days I just felt the presence of the lord so much okay, i did struggle so this is like my personal story with the retreat because obviously there was going to be breakthroughs for a lot of people and delivering revelations and here's the thing so i went into it because obviously you hear about retreats and how they're this amazing thing and how god is going to move and especially if you're going through things with me my life is so good right now i'm not gonna lie to you i'm having trouble with and here's the thing i don't like using the word trouble because let's just say there was a hiccup in my life and eventually that video will come out when i fully discuss my journey and that i'm going through right now and i should in my mind i felt guilty for not feeling sadness or just being very good in my life although this thing did happen where it could have prevented me from happiness and joy you know like but with me what i'm trying to say is like i the thing that happened recently in my life and it's technically an ongoing thing i just gave it to the lord i gave it to the lord i cried and but immediately i gave it to the lord i was like lord i don't you brought me this far i know you're gonna get me out of here it's yours you're gonna deal with this you're gonna do what you have to do and it's yours I, so i don't have the feelings that i would have had like a normal person certain things come easy to me and when i give something to the lord which this was the very first time that, that i truly just surrendered it because i said i surrendered so many things in my life but this was like an actual trial that came into my life and i was like okay i feel these emotions i cried and I'm, i cried and then i gave them to him immediately but before the retreat i was just feeling guilt because my friends are going through it and it's almost just like you go to church and you i'm in my women's group i'm in my um young adult group at church so i'm hearing all these stories of all these people going through stuff and it almost felt like guilty i was feeling guilty because i was just like lord like i feel so good like i'm happy i i have peace in my life but it's like it almost felt like but i did have this trial in my life and it's still technically an ongoing but i have no stress over it i don't think about that because it's yours i handed it to you oh, i haven't lost anyone but it was me i was feeling that type of guilt where i was just like oh like i have my pastors and everyone talking about this retreat that there's going to be breakthrough and that we're going to be you know you're going to he's gonna deliver you and i was just like i'm happy like and i was trying to search for something wrong in my life where i'm just like what is it and then my friends really helped me see during the retreat like no like you're happy and that's the peace of the lord and that's the lord working within you because you gave him the trial that was trying to arise and he's rejoicing in that so instead of feeling guilt accept it because it's 
him it's literally just the peace he's giving you and right now we might be going through stuff but at the end of the day you're here to uplift us and help us and then it was funny because later around the bonfire we had someone else said the same thing but to someone else and i was just so i so happened to be in the same group and they said something like yeah people are here to you know for all if they're going through stuff like this is going to be amazing for their soul but there's also people here to help those people and then i was like wow that's amazing so that is one of the things that happened to me and then number two which it was just on the second day and at this point like the guilt was gone and i was just fully embracing it because at one point i hit i was just like stephanie like you don't have to be looking for something wrong in your life. You're you're not supposed to have this guilt. Like rejoice on the fact that you're so happy. Praise the Lord cuz he's truly amazing and he's been working in your life. So do this. Like just and ever since that moment, I was worshiping and I was so happy. It's like I finally lately let myself be so happy and joyful. And then I have a promise with God right now, but as much as I've said, like, oh, I've embraced it, I'm full on going with it, I started to have fear. And once again, I'm going to have a whole video eventually um, on this subject, which I'm not going to say now, but I will be saying very soon. And um, I was feeling a little bit of guilt also within that but mainly fear because i was like Ugh. and it had to do with idol like i don't want to make an idol of this thing this promise and i had this like revelation where I, I was like oh my gosh lord you're trying to give me this beautiful thing in my life and as much as i'm telling you like yes i'm ready like you've been preparing me like thinking i'm embracing it in reality I was rejecting the gift that God is trying to give me because I was in fear that I was going to make it an idol. And it came clear to me where I was just like, no. And uh, our, the pastor that was leading us during the retreat was so amazing. Not going to lie. I don't know if this happens to you, but whenever we have like guest speakers, new pastors, it takes, it depends on the pastor, but usually it takes me like a second where I'm like, wait a minute. And with this pastor, like at the beginning, I was like, I'm not getting you. And then in the middle, it's like, bam he just hits you and he had such a way of speaking and like some of the things that stuck deeply in my mind were it's john 15 i think that's where the story comes from if i'm correct i had to go back to my notes but he was talking about how the devil came to god asking to stiff i think that was the word used peter and how god was like but i prayed over you peter and then there's deliverance with that so it's like we're not supposed to fear anything other than god and in my mind it just became so clear where i was like oh my god lord i'm fearing what you're trying to give me because i'm afraid that i'm gonna make this into an idol and i was just like that is impossible because you are leading this you're trying to give me this beautiful gift and at the end of the day you are praying against the enemy's attacks any of that like you're literally the root of this gift you're trying to give me so it just i had that so much clarity revelation and it was such a great retreat and obviously you guys saw so this is my story this is just a little chunk of it and i just been feeling so good and we just went to church and once again my pastor was he was cooking he ate the whole thing like he did not miss at all and i'm gonna go rewatch it just because it was so good i was taking so many notes that i feel like i missed a couple notes and i want to watch it again just so it can really hit me you know but yeah this is my what happened at the retreat and it was amazing and then the very last thing i want to say is that i personally was not intending on recording anything but it ended up being a full video for youtube what i mean by that is that obviously this is my this is right now what god has me doing this is my ministry where i'm trying to reach the one million lost children if you have not seen my testimony it's up on my channel i just posted it like two sundays ago and he has me right now where i'm just sharing my life the way i'm running his ministry um is by showing my life how good it is to live with god which is why it's called living with the king but and the retreat was coming up i remember thinking and <laughs> I like didn't fully pray about it but I think I did have a conversation with God and I was just like I don't think I want to 
record like i don't want to vlog that I, that was not my intention like i didn't want to take my camera and vlog i was just like i think of anything um i just want to be truly in the moment focus in the moment because i didn't know what i was going to get out of the retreat because as i'm saying like my life has been so good and i've been just truly blessed by god so i didn't know what i was walking into but of course he he worked through every single person in that room so the thing i did i literally took this digital camera i have another one exactly the same it's literally like the same one but in pink and i took these because i carry these cameras with me always and my main purpose is to take pictures like i love digital pictures i've been obsessed i have like this 1000 picture album and i just keep feeling it one day over the summer my friend um and i went to the beach obviously take pictures right we're taking pictures and she ended up recording me when i was just at the beach like in the water and i didn't know she did this but when i looked at it i was like wait this is actually good quality it also gives you camcorder vibes like you know those old home video tapes that your like parents would film this is what this reminded me of so i said okay lord i'm gonna take my cameras just because i take pictures for everything everyone knows this already so i'm gonna just take this camera and if anything i'll record a little bit and i can make like a three minute video when i tell you the lord provided because yes i recorded i recorded way more than i realized because i had 17 minutes of footage in this camera this tiny camera that's not even really technically for recording anything and he provided he was just i was so in the moment i was in the retreat i was having such an amazing time with my friends just in the presence of the lord and yet he still provided with enough footage to make a whole video for youtube and that's just glory to god so this is it this is the whole story of the retreat it was fun they did have activities um i do the only thing negative about it was that i just wish it was longer i think everyone wished that that it was like a full second day because we got there at four it started at four on friday and then on saturday we left at four so it was very short but God worked and that's all that matters and yeah this is it this is my retreat